Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. And I am back with another Plan With Me video. So last week you asked to see the whole thing from start to finish. So here we are starting a brand new week. And we are going to start the way I do every week with moving my sticky notes. So I will plan next week with sticky notes while I'm in a current week. That way I can just jot down anything I know I need to do next week or even in a month or you know two months my my commitment said I'm not set in stone but I know I need to do soon I'll write those down on sticky notes put them on the days and then I can move them when I get to that week so all I'm doing now is moving them to the specific days now that I know what I need to do when and then I transfer those columns as you can see in their columns just directly above my planner onto my counter that way I can go back and with stickers give these stickies actual stickers permanently in my planner and I know exactly which day to put them on and that makes my life a lot easier <laughs> all right so now we've got a Blake canvas and this week I am going to be using the biz babe happy planner book I haven't used this before I just picked it up at Hobby Lobby, Michael's, I don't remember, one of the stores. And this week I have a lot to do, as you can see from the sticky notes. So I don't have a lot of time to do a whole big spread of stickers and play around with them. So I'm going to use this book because I did like when I was looking through it, it has a lot of coordinating stickers, including full boxes. Seems like a lot of um, the Happy Planner books they just don't have as a big a variety as I like of in full boxes. So we're going to go in with this one and I'm going to put a full box on every day. And I like to kind of make sure they're not all in a line. I know some people do like all full boxes in the first row and all checklists in the second row. I like to get mine a little more abstract. And so I will make sure that they go kind of in triangles. If I do one in the middle, I'll do one in the top box and one in the bottom next to it. So I'm going to do mostly pinks and blues and rose golds this week, especially because I always do rose gold if I have the option, especially because most of my stickers from Etsy that I've purchased for individual things like filming and YouTube and writing blog posts are all in rose gold. It's just my preference. Of course, if you're buying your own stickers, you can get gold or black or whatever you want. So I'm going to go ahead and keep going. I'm looking at this point to do all my full boxes. I like to do those first and then I'll do the checklist. Now I did try to decide this week whether or not to leave the flip through of the sticker books in. I like to see when people flip through the sticker books, kind of see what the options are in that specific book and maybe what the person is thinking, what stickers they go for. But if you're not into that, then that can just be kind of like extra crap to watch. So let me know what you think down below. Do you like it when I leave the flip throughs of the sticker books in or is it just busy work? I'm going to go ahead and use the checklist now. I use these checklists that the book actually has because they do coordinate. They're not my favorite checklist because they only have four dots. And I like to have six dots. Also, I'm fairly sure I put them, some of them in upside down. I didn't think about it at the time. And I don't know. It doesn't really bug me because I'll just put them in those sections whether the dots at the top or the bottom but now that I'm watching the video like that blue one on the 26th is upside down so is the one on the 25th that's okay the other two are right side up all right so since I have an appointment on the 28th um a strategy Pinterest meeting with my mastermind. I have that special little appointment sticker. I really liked that this book had appointment stickers. That's one of the main reasons I'm using it this week so that I can use that appointment sticker. So I'm not going to use a full box on that day since that appointment sticker already takes up 
so much space. Perfect. Now I've got all my checklists down. I can go in with specialty stickers. So I'm going to start as always with my work schedule because even though I work part time, I do have to go to work when I'm scheduled. I like these special little boxes. I get them from notes and clips on Etsy. There'll be my dog just came to say hi. Hi, sugar. There'll be a link down below for those stickers. I definitely need new ones because as you can see, I'm using the tan ones. Um, they come with tan pink and blue and I always use the pink. So they go first. Also, I wish she just had sheets of the pink, but now that I've put those in, I'm going to start putting in icon stickers and box stickers for individual items. So Tuesday and Wednesday, I worked a full shift at my part-time job. So in the evening, I'll come home and I'll just do easy things um, for the blog. I won't like try to write a whole post or edit a whole video. I can, but I prefer not to. Instead, I'll just do emails those nights because they need to be done. And then I will come in with these little pink boxes. I liked that they have wider heading kind of space at the top. And I'm gonna put one on Monday and one on Friday for YouTube video uploads. So technically you guys are probably watching one of these little boxes right now. Because this video will eventually be a YouTube video. That is its purpose. All right. Perfect. I'm going to take one of these blue ones on Sunday to remind me to take out the trash. I don't know about y'all, but if I don't put that in my planner, it doesn't get done. All right. Then on Friday, I have um, a few special appointments to take my dog to get a haircut. And I had a customer purchase one of my large bride bags. That is quite a bit of work to put together. So I need to print and cut those, um, planners for her got three three travelers notebooks to put together and a large binder so that will take most of the day then on Thursday I've got a lot of shooting to do both for film for YouTube and for photos for the blog so I'm gonna put a special little checklist down just for what pictures I need to remember to take I do try to put this meeting sticker down, but I eventually decide it's just too much pink on pink. So we're not going to use it. That's fine. Now I'm going to go in and I am going to start filling out these stickers. I know some people don't like to write in their, in their videos. And I do like the pictures when they're just a clean, pretty spread, but let's be honest. I've tried that. And when I do not write on my stickers as I put them down, I forget what they're for. So that's all right. We're going to go ahead and put the words near the stickers right now. <laughs> You'll see I did put that little upload sticker down. I like to use these um, script kind of stickers. I had them custom made on Etsy and they're just rose gold foiled for film, upload, edit, different uh, video and blog post things that I have to do every single week and so I will layer those over other stickers so in this case I'm using a little flag and then a film sticker and the boxes and upload sticker to tell myself okay if I'm going to upload a Lula May video on the 29th I probably need to film that on the 28th and edit it <laughs> Normally I give myself a little bit more of a window in there, but in this week, we're just going for it. We didn't have time. I kept putting off the Lulamay video every other week. I've been supposed to film it for like three weeks. But unlike this planner video, for a house video, I had to do full hair and makeup and get dressed. That takes time and effort that I don't always have. Tell me I'm not alone in that. All right, I'm gonna write in those pictures I need to take and the other intro videos I need to shoot so that I can finalize some of those. Perfect. I'm gonna write in that Pinterest strategy meeting on my special little meeting sticker. I like when they do half circle stickers like this. I think they're really cute. 
perfect. Then we'll keep going right in my dog's haircut and that customer's planner that I need to finish. My work schedule and the trash on Sunday and then write in some individual tasks. I'm gonna do one last layered flag down here, the flag with a little um, credit card symbol over top because I need to remember one of my sticky notes is reminding me to put some money in savings. So definitely need to do that. Perfect. Keep filling out those checklists. And for this part, I'm, I'm literally just taking items off of those sticky notes up above and going down the column and either putting those items from the checklist into a checklist or onto a specific box or icon sticker in on that day. And it just depends on how important that task is, if it gets its own specific sticker or if it goes in the checklist. And most of my important things like filming or editing or blog posts or in this case paying a bill that I just put down a bill sticker, I have individual stickers for because I've been planning for years. If you haven't been planning for years, Happy Planner has a lot of, of books nowadays that has these kind of icons in them until you can kind of build your stash a little more. Perfect. Another film icon. I did a lot of video work this week. I feel like that's mostly what I focused on. Perfect. I think that just about wraps it up. We will obviously go in and fill out more as the week goes on and as I figure out what I'm doing every single day specifically. Um, I'm going to go ahead and write in since Tuesday is over. I know the main things I did that day were go to work and work on emails. So I'm going to put in a whole sticker box for watching TV because that night I really just wrote emails while binging The Resident on Hulu. I've been watching that lately. When I am done putting in my work stickers, I like to put in these kinds of fun stickers just to kind of show what I was doing that day. I think it takes my planner from kind of a planner to more of a scrapbook and I do keep all my spreads. So there you go. Put in a little shopping bag. So I did some online shopping on Wednesday and I bought this adorable gingerbread light up house. You can check it out on Instagram. We're done. All right. See you next week.